Hi guys, my name is Xavier and today I'm going to be talking you through our Panasonic 4K camera kits. We're going to take a look at its contents, its features and how to set it up. First things first, you have to learn how to turn it on. For these cameras, it's this power button on the side of the camera. Once you see the screen light up, that means you've done this correctly. If the screen doesn't light up, chances are that your camera is out of battery. To charge the camera, the charging port is here on the outside of the camera. Remember, you don't want to be caught off guard by planning to go out to film and only realizing that you have no battery when you get there. Always make sure your cameras are fully charged before heading out. You can check the battery level on the screen here. You can't charge the camera with the USB port, so don't even try. The SD card where all your recorded footage is stored is located here on the bottom of the camera behind this sliding door. Slide it back to reveal the SD card and press down on it and it pops out. Before going out on any shoot, it's crucial to format your SD card. This means there's more space for your footage and helps you stay organized as well. To format your card, touch the menu button on the left of your screen and go into the setup menu. From there, scroll down to find the format media option. Now before you do this, make sure there isn't any footage that you want on the card as formatting it will delete it and it cannot be recovered. Now, once you've formatted your card, you'll want to initialize the camera to its default settings. This is to make sure that you can control the different menu settings of the camera instead of how the previous person set it up. To do this, go into the same setup menu and scroll down until you see the initial set button. Once you find it, click it and click yes to reset the camera's menu settings. Next, you'll want to choose which camera mode you'll be filming in. To do that, click the button on the top left of the screen to bring up the different shooting modes. Now, for your work, you will only need to shoot in 4K photo mode, which can be found here. The 4K camera kit also comes with a Rode video mic. This should be fixed to the top of your camera or placed on a second tripod near the source of the sound that you want to record. Once your microphone is placed securely on top of your camera, turn it on here and plug it into the camera using the mic socket. You might need to use the microphone extension cable if you've placed your microphone on a second tripod and need the length to reach the camera. Remember to make sure your cables are not in a dangerous place when you do this. You don't want to be a health and safety hazard not only to yourself, but to people around you. In order to produce professional work, you'll need to make sure that the audio you're recording with your video is clear. This means using good headphones when recording. Remember, audio is incredibly important and you don't want to film something that looks amazing but sounds absolutely useless. Always plug your headphones in and listen while you're recording. Your headphones go into this socket at the front of the camera. With the microphone plugged in, now it's time to set the levels. To do this, go into the menu and select Record Setup. On page 7, select Mic Level and change it from Auto to the third option. Have your subject tell you what they had for breakfast, some other small story, so you can adjust the mic level while they do it and make sure you're getting a good signal with no distortion. Once you have set the level, press the enter button and exit the menu. There will be an audio control option popping up on the menu to the left of your screen. Once you click on it, you will see the options to control the microphone's level and the headphone volume. You should always have the output volume of your headphones turned all the way up to full before adjusting the microphone level so you can hear everything that's going on. If you set your microphone input level too high or too low, your audio will either be distorted or very noisy if you try to fix it in post. So take the time at this point of production to get it right. To start recording, just hit this big button here. Every time you press it, you create a new video file on the SD card. While filming, if you want to zoom in, use this toggle on top of the camera. Push it towards the T to zoom in or towards the W to zoom out. And that's the basics of getting started with our 4K kits. I'm Xavier and I'll see you next time.